I thought you just had that in the back of your mind. That stat. Here we go. Gold medal match then, class seven, this women's single competition. Well, there's a shot. So we talked about the way she flings herself around the table. And uh, yeah, you won't see the poker face here. You'll see hands on loud. Looking to dominate the table. Right. What a spin. What a side spin on that uh, serve. And she's into a two point lead in quick style. I get enough top spin on that one though. She does get to the shot she thinks she won't be able to get to. Bands on, but this time just pushing it wide. Cork up back on level terms. Oh, yes. <laughs> Great control on the, on the shot from Corkett that had a fair bit on it. And Fanson, he's, she's delighted with that, ought to be. Corkett, you know, she'll have that feeling of deja vu that she's played out of her skin and it still comes back. What do you think of this uh, idea from uh, Corkett that she, her ambition coming to these games is to win the silver medal? I hadn't picked that one up. Well, she, she's definitely can fulfill that. Mm. So she's achieved that ambition. Now she's in bonus territory because she's got a shot at the gold, I suppose. But to, to make it your stated ambition, I want to win the silver medal. That's an odd thing to say, isn't it? Perhaps I want to win a medal. Mm. Quite specific. She might have been misquoted. This is true. I'm sure she wants to go on now, though. No! And that's a lovely shot. Just a little bit tentative from uh, Corcott and just taking the edge of the table as it went through. He's too equally aggressive, really, and that's reflected on the scoreboard. First game, gold medal match, class seven, Turkey and the Netherlands. Couldn't control it, fans on. This is, a, this is a evolving into a really good match. I like the look of what we're seeing here in terms of maybe going to extra games rather than a straight game affair.
Well, the net court doesn't favor Corkut on occasion. Sometimes the player gets a really uh, advantageous deflection off the net. But uh, Fanson pounced on it. Well, she stormed home in the latter stages of that opening game to take it 11-9. Kelly Fanson. And she doesn't hide her emotions at the table, tennis table. Picks up that crutch to move her nice and quickly to the coach. I'm not sure there's too much to be said between the uh, Dutch pair. It's the Turkish athlete who has a bit of thinking to do. She's one game down in this gold medal match. Nerede oraya oynamayacağız dedi. Ataklar oraya. Yönlendirdiğin toplar bir bir. Anladın mı? Sen ne yaptın? Gittin atak yaptı sonra adam atamıyor mu? Direkt önüne oynadın buradan bastın. Tamam ona dikkat edeceğiz. Okey. Well, the only bit I picked up there was top spin serve. <laughs> and okay. And it is okay at the moment for Kelly Fanson. She leads. 11 9 the first. champion looking good after that first game just had to stretch a bit couldn't get the control on the shot Fans on the more aggressive in the rally gets the benefit. So it's in the second game so far. Gets the edge of the table and up goes the hand and apology from Cookett. Great defending though from uh, Van Zon. Couldn't do anything about that though. Such quick hands for Kelly Van Zon. Fabulous forehand. Another touch in the uh, arena at the moment. Very noisy. Uh, just took a faintest of touches, I think, on the edge of the table. Yeah, an apology from Van Zon, but she gets the point. Six apiece. And we have a pause in proceedings. You were you were describing before actually the uh, the great shot from uh, from uh, Fanson when she was down low and uh, came around the net. 
as you can do in uh, in tennis of course too if you're sent wide enough the, the ball doesn't have to pass at, at net height but because if you hit the side of the table that's not a legal uh, landing point if you're going to hit the edge of the table it has to be on the top edge not the side of the table absolutely i mean I've, i think most people know that but it's when you, you when you force that wide you're still going to get it up to, to the table height it was an astonishing shot really in the moments of the day in the paralympics on finish the last game like a train but uh, can she do the same again here Cork got working hard at the timeout the coach felt it was important to make a couple of points away from back up the second game and that will do it it's two game points more Kelly Van Zorn Boozling Corkut with the serve who in a bit of a hole here has the serve The net goes long. That's one salvage for Corcut. Yeah! <laughs> what a reaction. So the first two games going to the Netherlands. Uh, Kelly Fanson, 11 9 and 9, both taking. Around six minutes. And the length of rally, not very long either. They're very aggressive players. So the longest rally, eight strokes in both games, actually. Eleven nine, eleven nine. First two games to award number one, the gold medalist from London, Kelly Van Zom. Cooper Corcut has played well, but she's up against a bit of a force of nature here. Greatest at the moment from Cuba Korkut of Turkey. Yeah! 
wants to make sure there's not a momentum building for the Dutch athlete. One of the toughest things to do in sport at whatever level is to close it out. Get yourself to winning position and finish the job. Because it's then that your mind can get distracted from the process and start thinking about the outcome. Everyone says take each point as it comes. Easier said than done, but this is a very confident woman and she is... Yeah, don't, think about, don't think about match point, think about this point. <laughs> I don't think about the last point either. Yeah. That's what Corcott has to do, but as we said, it's, it's a tricky old business. 6-2. Looks like the wind is in Kelly Von Zon's sails at the moment. Yeah! That was a better constructed point from Corker, but just couldn't finish it off. I was reminded of this point about how to close out a sporting contest by a great golfer and, and turn commentator Johnny Miller, and it, but it applies to, to all sports. Is there are plenty of good players but very few good finishes. Well Vanzon looks like she's in a hurry to finish this one off. The reigning Paralympic and world champion three points away. That one is long she's frustrated with herself. Her motto, by the way, is you'll never win when you're afraid to lose, which is an interesting one. She's certainly giving it everything here. That was a poor serve and just a little think of light for Colcutt in this third game. Oh, and that's not the time. If there is any yet, ever a time to serve a fault. Nine five. Counts on tantalizingly close to taking this match. She has five gold medal points. I don't think it was ever in doubt. <laughs> and rushes over to the embrace with the coach. Another gold medal for Kelly Van Zon, who had the gold in London. Colcott never really got into this match. She'll take the silver. Her first singles medal in the Paralympics after being fourth in London. But uh, she has been outstanding in this tournament, Kelly Van Zon, and she takes the gold. Athletic, aggressive, persistent, and uh, strategic too. So, uh, hard lines for Kubra Kokut. But if it was her ambition to win a medal at these games, she's done that. It will be the silver because uh, Kelly Vanson has decided it's gold again for her. Still just 28 years of age. So there's a lot of uh, table tennis left in this young lady. Cool got six years her junior. So I imagine these two will be meeting every four years for quite some time to come. <laughs> 